Hey everyone, this is an updated video for setting joystick sensitivity in Microsoft Flight Simulator. With the most recent update on October 31st, some things have changed when setting the joystick sensitivity. In this video, I will be using the Logitech Attack 3. It took me significantly longer to dial in these settings than the previous update. Let's take a look. Let's start with the test flight. On takeoff, we see that the vertical controls are way too sensitive. This could lead to a stall on takeoff or coming back to the ground and bouncing off the runway. These issues are even worse when trying to land the aircraft. You can also see that the horizontal controls are very sensitive as well. You can see that most of my control movements are represented by a very small range on the joystick. Also, minute movements of the joystick can result in some undesired movement of the aircraft, as you can see here. Let's take a look at how we can solve these issues. Sensitivity settings can be found by going to the menu, controls, selecting your joystick, and then clicking sensitivity. During my test flight, I found that the horizontal sensitivity was too high and the vertical sensitivity was even higher. After some trial and error, I found the following settings to work for me. Minus 30% on the x-axis. Minus 45% for the negative y-axis. and minus 55% for the positive y-axis. I found that I needed to adjust the positive y-axis more because I was having some issues when pulling back on the joystick during landing. I would highly recommend spending most of your time on this setting. My z-axis is for the throttle and does not need any adjustment. If your joystick has an additional axis for the rudder, you can adjust that here as well. The final issue is to fix the stability issue with minute adjustments on the joystick. We use the dead zone setting for this. I found 5% on the x-axis and 2% on the y-axis to work well for me. You can find your own values by tapping on the joystick and making sure the movements remain on the flat area of the graph. Use the smallest value you can, especially on the y-axis, as this can cause issues with your flare during landing. You can try adjusting the neutral value to shift the curve, but I found this did not work well, especially when using the dead zone setting. Save your settings and then go for a test flight. As you can see, we have a much smoother and less chaotic takeoff. Take the time to try different settings until you find what works well for you. And that's all for this video. Stay tuned for future videos. I'm working on some how-to and achievement guide videos for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can also find me live on Twitch most evenings. Feel free to hang out and ask any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.